bunch of volunteers, but we've had this seed library that Sasha helped start a long time ago. Who are the basil volunteers? We get, and a bunch of us that have been oh, basil keeping going. Members. Basil members. Any basil oh. members and borrowing our seeds? So the idea, we've, we've got a sort of a year-round seed swap that goes on at the Ecology Center through our library. If you haven't checked it out, it's around the corner. And the idea is that you can borrow seeds from there and carefully tend them and save them and bring them back and share them with the community again. So it's, um, and you know, through that we're saving special heirloom varieties. We're adapting it to the Bay Area. We're learning seed saving. We're reminding people about the importance of this, which we're learning more about tonight. So, um, yeah, we, we hope you check that out. We, we're actually selling some, just like the library, still their books sometimes. Um, <laughs> for the first time, we're trying it. We have a few surplus ones, and we have a local seed planting chart. There's a, even a spin-off. Do you want to say anything about the... So Richmond? if you live in um, Richmond or the Richmond area, we're doing a similar project in the Richmond Public Library. So we think it might be the first one in the nation that's actually in California library. Um, and we're creating it as a national model, so if you want to go to our website, which is richmondgrows.org, um, you can download all of the uh, brochures, the same ones that we use in Basil. And um, you, we have orientations. We're having five, well, five that are in English, and some of them a couple that will be in Spanish. All our stuff is translated into English and Spanish, and we're getting Mandarin and hopefully Laotian and Mian soon. And, um, so it's available as a resource and also obviously so if you're in another community and you want to reference this process, our whole process is there for you to download. <laughs> said about basil, you know, just come check it out if you guys aren't familiar. There's a lot of familiar faces, so you probably know about it. Um, I just wanted to use this time real quick to mention on um, June 20th, on Sunday from 12 to 7, we're going to have a permaculture convergence um, up at Merritt. You guys are all welcome, and we have a pretty active seed saving program, um, pretty small, um, but um, we have a student intern this summer who's really... Um, going to focus on a bunch of different crops, so she's probably got 12 basic vegetable crops that she's saving and having big signs for it and stuff, and so we're trying to grow at Merritt and bring back for a place like this. Um, so if anyone's interested in classes up there, starting the 21st, I'm teaching a permaculture class. It's all full, but um, in the fall there'll be a class, and we're doing um, active units on seed saving, um, so it looks like we'll have some great new material to share with folks. Um, so thanks everyone for seed saving. Stupid question. Uh, permaculture, define that. Oh, uh, permanent agriculture or permanent culture is basically applied ecology. So it's like a holistic design system for sustainable human settlements. It's a quick, it's everything. It's all you can ecology. learn about it by taking the course at Merritt College with Chris Shine here. Yeah, and join Basil because we need more members. Um, we need people saving these heirloom seeds. The last time we did an event, someone had some seed, some be Romano bean seeds that for 30 years she'd been saving and wanted to get it out into the world, you know, so um, just an heirloom that had been handed down to her. So it's a really good connection to make, to have full circle gardening, um, you know, so you know, like most beginning gardeners don't see that cilantro and um, coriander are the same plant kind of thing. It's just good connections to make. Um, but yeah, so we want more basil volunteers and people using it and we want to um, welcome the folks tonight to yeah, so talk? yeah, we're glad you're excited about these, and we're glad to have this yeah, so press Dale, on tour. Let's take it on for Bill. Thank you. Berkeley. I grew up in Idaho. <laughs> Berkeley is important. <laughs> it always has. And, and I'm honored to be here. What these guys are doing at, at Basil and Richmond is what we need to do. It's the highest expression. I, I've been involved in uh, seed saving and selling seeds for uh, almost 30 years now. And I've been involved in nonprofits, and I started a corporation, a, a, <coughs> excuse me, a sole proprietorship now. And I've decided that the only way to go forward is what they're doing, really. We want institutions to do that, and I'll talk about that more later. So I'm really honored to be with you guys. You're, you're setting the edge. If you Google up Seed Library, there's one on the East Coast, but otherwise it's you guys so far. And so this is the beginning of a new movement. I was, I woke up the other morning, I was thinking, where's the new Andrew Carnegie? I right? <laughs> started the whole public library system mm -hmm. by funding the start of them. That's what we need right now. We need a funder to take your 
model and start rolling it out to libraries everywhere. And that would, then we're, then we're really doing the work. So let's just all beam that out right now. This is what's, <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> we like to beam. <laughs> I, I wanna thank the, uh, thank the people here at uh, Ecology Asset, or the Ecology Center, Center. Center. Uh -huh. <laughs> for, having, for having us, um, and Basil especially. Um, I want to thank Belle, my wife, who um, makes sure all of this takes place and has the table set up back there. We've got basic seed saving books, a few of our own seeds, you'll hear about some of those. The, as I said outside a few minutes ago, uh, the, the goal of our trip isn't to sell seeds. It's to um, tell some of our stories. I've been telling the same story in some version for 30 years and I've had interface with people from all over the world. So I'm gonna try to deepen and color this story for you so that you can take forth Whatever you want from what what I can help you with, and uh, and we and I'm going to learn, and we'll all go out of here together, hopefully better for that. And so, um, <coughs> just a little background. I, Phil McDormand. I've, uh, as I said, I've started three um, seed companies really in in my 30 years. I've been doing this constantly since 1979, 